Hello, my name is Sean, aka The Cockney Charmer. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today I am very excited to have another unboxing and first impressions video. Um, this time we are actually looking at the Elite Series 2 Core Controller. Um, this is a white version of the original Elite 2 uh, Series Controller, which released 2019. So that one's about three years old now. Uh, this was announced during Gamescom. It was leaked last month, but officially confirmed just at the well towards the end of August. Um, now, if you've owned an Elite Two, uh, Elite Series Two controller, then you will know just how good they are. Um, for me, I had mine just over two years before it sadly died, and I will show you <laughs> how it died. Um, but if you've seen picture of this and you're thinking, oh, white, this is a brand new Elite, uh, Elite Series controller. It is, but there are some differences between this and the original that you might not know about. Because the key thing to remember is core. So I ordered this from the Microsoft Store, pre-ordered it last week, thanks to a very generous donation from a member of my uh, Twitch community. Um, he should remain nameless because he doesn't like to be told how lovely and generous he is. But he knows who he is and he made me smile. Um, so yeah, so... I have, this is still sealed, as you can see. I've not opened it. This literally arrived this afternoon. Today is uh, September the 21st. I do believe the release date for this shifted. It was supposed to be September 20th. Then it moved to September 21st. And most retailers are suddenly showing it as being available on... September 22nd, so yeah, it's a bit of a weird one with the release date. This, however, I pulled this from the uh, Microsoft UK store for £114.99, uh, free delivery, which is one to two business days. This was dispatched yesterday, it came from came by DPD today, and I'm very much excited to actually open this up and take a look. So, also, you can still see where my flat is currently having works done so the floor is still with protective clothing on it and as I don't have a desk desktop setup um, I'm making do with the same setup I use when I do my Lego streams so bear with me with that so I think the first thing we need to do is to actually look inside it I do like these these new stickers now rather than destroying the box itself you actually get these little pull ties that just come off I'm just gonna stick on the floor now, as with the Elite 2, this is actually very, very a heavy box. Now, oh, that is very... I actually really like the white. I very much like the white of this. With the normal grips, it really, really stands out. And all the markings stands out a lot more. Um with this controller so we can definitely see what comes in the box we'll just have a little look underneath so what you get for the £114.99 your asking price is basically the controller and a braided USB-C cable to charge it with and we also have the usual gubbins of the we have the tool the thumbstick to adjust the tool and we have the manual various manuals lots of manuals i was curious to know if this would come with actual code for xbox game pass but uh let's not be silly okay I actually quite like the way that the uh, adjusted tool is packaged. Now you may be wondering, you, know, you may be asking yourself, hold on a minute, the Elite 2 controller is supposed to come with extra thumbsticks and it's supposed to come with a paddle system. Well, the Elite 2 controller certainly does come with all those things. However, and this is what this is what makes this controller very different 
than the regular Elite 2 controller. Is that the core controller really is just the controller. Um, hence the core part of the name. Um, it has all the, f all the features. It has all the functions of the Elite 2 controller. However, what we are looking at here is a stripped down, no accessories version of the Elite 2, which is why this is only £114.99. pence. So you also have the thumbsticks that can come off. The D-pads all interchangeable, as you can see, all magnetic, so they can stick back on. Have all the usual functions. These are the regular thumb six that you can get. The tool that you can see here, that was buried in the with the with the instruction manager, is actually used to adjust the tightness. If you can see, if I put it onto the camera, if you can see just there, the tool is used to adjust the torque. Of this controller so you can make you can actually what i like to do with my original elite 2 controller is that you can actually make it feel like and behave or perform like an xbox 360 controller um guide buttons i love the i love the clear white i, I just i just love the look of this controller the clear white buttons all the face buttons are the same options start now, whereas the, if you've got an Xbox Series S or an Xbox Series X console, you may notice this button here. Now, on those controllers or the, the controller types now, that is actually the share button. So, you can one press is a screenshot, hold it in, you can take a clip. On the Elite 2 controller, however, that is the profile button. Via your console, you can actually set three different profiles for adjustments on button mapping, sensitivity, all the wonderful stuff on different profiles. So if you play racing games, you can have one particular controller set up for that. If you play fighting games, you can have a, another profile for that. And if you play FPS games like Call of Duty or Halo Infinite, you can have a profile for that where your button mappings, sensitivity settings are unique for that profile. And you simply use that button to switch between each profile so you immediately jump straight into that profile to use it is fantastic another feature if you turn it around the back you can see this is where the paddles would go if you if you have the accessories um, that go with the Elite 2 controller and more would have to follow here you may have seen these are the hair trigger buttons so as you can see the trigger goes down all the way like a normal controller Put in the guard and you offer resistance so it takes less to fully depress the trigger. So depending on how you like to play. So think of games with acceleration, games with aiming, downsides, game with firing. Depending on how you like to have your controller set up. You have the head crit on both these triggers. These are the paddles. Um, I can show you the paddles. Um, you put paddles in here and you can map each of these buttons to pretty much any function of the controller um, so for example what I like to do uh, because with my wonderful my wonderful hands I actually have degenerative arthritis in my hands which means it takes a lot of effort to do simple things such as pressing the, f the left thumbstick in to run or using the right thumbstick depressed to crouch or melee attack what you can do with the pedal system is that you can map these buttons to be any function of the controller. So you can set one pedal to be your thumb click. So you, instead of clicking uh, the thumbstick to run, use the pedal. Um, you can even set one to do the take a screenshot, record a clip as you would do with a Series X or S controller now. This is perhaps for me, the Elite Series 2 controller is for me one of the best controllers I have absolutely ever used so how does it compare to the original E2 so starting off the obvious is that this 
is my original Elite 2 Series 2 controller. Now you may notice this has a carry case. You will also notice, if I take it out, in fact you, if you want to know why I'm replacing this, if, I can, if you hear that rattle, that's why it, that's, I accidentally dropped it. Two years of wear and tear, and sadly, that's where we got to. As you can see, Delete Series 2 also has the paddle sections, it also has the head triggers. They've actually made it a lot neater on the on the new white version than that. So the difference between the big difference between the core controller and the regular Elite 2 is the fact that, as you can see, the core controller does not come with any accessories. All you get is the controller itself, the USB-C charging cable, and a thumbstick adjuster tool. That is it. That is what you get for £114.19. If you were to buy the full or the original Elite 2 controller, you would also get the carry a protective carry case, and you would also get the paddles and extra thumbsticks and this charging block so the USB-C cable will you can actually see there's a hole in the back of the carry case I can get my camera to see it. it's a bit dark as you can see there's a hole in the back of the carry case the charger sits inside and then what you would normally do is you would take your Elite 2 controller when you're not using it and you put it inside a carry case and it will charge inside it as well as being detached which you can take it with you none of this comes with the core controller the core controller does not come with those accessories instead you can actually buy the accessories pack which will give you everything in the elite series 2 so the case the charger the paddles and the thumbsticks you can buy separately for the grand price of £54.99 at point of recording this sale so £114.99 for the core controller and then it's a further £54.99 if you want all the accessories to, to turn it into a full Elite 2 controller now strangely enough on the Microsoft Store you can actually buy the Elite 2 controller the original black version uh, with all the accessories currently for £147 pounds the last time I looked was when I was pre-ordering this so to make this the full fat Elite 2 Series Elite Series 2 controller it will cost you more than it would do to buy the original um, now the reason why I've gone for this is because like I said my Elite 2 controller died on me uh, literally last month after two years um, the left bumper button stopped working properly the Y face button stopped working properly and because of my current situation with my left wrist being slightly broken and awaiting surgery I made a mistake after I was doing the stream of taking off my wrist brace what and then holding the Elite 2 controller and my hand spasmed and then dropped it on the floor and that was it it just stopped completely working after that so my only options was to buy an entire Elite 2 controller for another £160 which is what it normally retails for £159.99 and then they announced this so for everyone who has had an Elite 2 controller and is looking to either replace it due to being out of warranty needing repair or just wanting a new firmer stiffer new controller and you already have all the accessories such as the paddles the charger and everything else your best value for money is absolutely this where you're literally just buying the controller without all the accessories which you already have however if you are looking to buy this brand new you will have to buy the accessories which is currently £54.99 now for me this is still the best controller I've ever used especially on Xbox um, with my arthritis from an accessibility point of view the simple ability to remap any button any controller setting 
to the paddle system, like I said, being able to take what would be a left thumb click and make it so it's just a paddle on the back. In fact, I can show you how that would work. So the thumb stick can come off. You can use the tool to tighten. If you let me put it in, will you let me put you in? Like so, if you can see. I'll bring you down. More great setup. So that's the tool, and it's like a little screw. So really, really loose. And then what you can do is you use the tool. And you tighten the setting so again you can take from the current field of what a xbox series controller or an xbox one controller and you can change the reaction of the thumbstick bar and i always set it to be like the 360 one all, all the accessories all the thumbsticks are magnetic so they won't fall off you can shake it the dome D-pad, um, with the accessories you can actually change it to have the normal D-pad. I've just turned the controller on, you won't, it's not paired with anything so it won't make a difference. So there you have, you have the normal D-pad you would expect from the old Xbox One con um, controller. Also what you may want to see is the markings, the dial markings. On the black one they're silver but on the white they really pop, they absolutely show and pop. If I bring that a bit closer, you can see just how much the markings pop, especially on the back. They're just so nice and clear on the white. Of course, you have the rubberized grips, which all um, you know all Xbox controllers now come with, especially with the Series S and X consoles. And then the paddle system is basically this: you take the paddles, top and bottom, so you can have four paddles connected as and when now depending on how you like to use your paddles i should probably do it the way that i would use the paddles so as you can see these are now paddles and if you listen if i bring up to the microphone the paddles cause it to react just like a like a button so, you, so holding it, so as you can see, instead of, for me with my arthritis, instead of clicking in the thumbsticks to, to do a run or a melee attack or a crouch, I can take that function and I can set it to a paddle on the back. So I absolutely, which I love. Of course you can have four paddles, you can have one paddle, three paddles, two paddles, depending on whatever setup you like. And again, because of the profile system, the profile system is so good that it will all you all you will have to do to, to uh, set the profile that you you want to use is to just literally choose the profile and apply the paddles, and it will remember what your setup is, which is very very awesome. I can't remember how to put that in. So of course the downside. Um, to the core controller is the fact that you do not get the full Elite Series 2 accessories with it. You will have to buy this, um, the secondary accessories pack to have all that functionality. You will have to. However, the, Elite Series, the original Elite Series 2 controller has been around for about three years. Um, as a result, I can show you something that I've had for a few months that I never actually got to use. Um, those who follow the channel know that I use um, not in well, not a partnership or sponsorship. Um, I use a lot of Venom gaming accessories. I use the charging docks on my PS5 controllers. I use the switch adapter on my um, my spare Nintendo Switch dock that I use to do my streaming. Um, now Venom Gaming have these. They have their own Elite Series 2 accessories pack of various colours. 
Um, you can get blue, which is this one, purple, and gold. So you can really accessorize you know, your own Elite 2 controller um, how you want. Um, now, what is interesting is that these accessories are only $24.99 and probably cheaper if you do have a good look around. These I, I bought these from Amazon using a voucher that I was sent um, after buying some Venom products. Um, well, I say sent, I found it online. As you can see, it has its own carry case with the Venom gaming logo on the top. And if you open it up, I'll take away the branded stickers that you always get with Venom products. You have a full set of Elite Series 2 accessories. You have all the thumbsticks in the same length and grip style as you would with the official Elite Series 2 pack, you also have the paddles. And again, all legit, all work. Now, of course, because the Elite Series 2 core controller is white, the di their different colored accessories are really going to pop and they work exactly the same way as the official ones um, they even comes with the same their copy of the thumbstick tool their version of the the dome d-pad all metal all magnetic as well and as you can see the blue looks really well I will be doing a separate video looking at this accessory pack um, to go along with this uh, look at the core cool controller. Um, but yeah. So another option, if you are looking to pick up the core cool controller, all that, all that really changes, all that really matters is, are you bothered by having a carry case and sitting charger for your, your brand new Elite 2 controller? Um as you get in the official one official one here or are you happy to have the Elite 2 core controller the Venom gaming accessories pack which gives you all the paddle functionality all the extra thumbsticks so you get exactly the same use as you would from the official ones with these in the colour of your choice and you just charge your controller using the braided USB-C cable that comes with it and that would save you £30. This for £114.99. The Venom Gaming Accessories Kit for £24.99. Maybe even cheaper. Blue colour, purple colour, gold colour. Which look absolutely incredible against the white of the Elite Series 2. Now I have been using the Elite Series 2 controller since early... Pardon me for coughing. Um, I've been using my original Elite Series 2 controller since early 2020. Um, from an accessibility point of view, it has helped my gaming on Xbox in a ridiculously handy way. And also just gaming, being able to remap buttons, using a paddle system for driving games, fighting games, shooting games, Sea of Thieves. It is just an incredible controller. Which I've absolutely loved. So when my, my original Elite Series 2 died, I was lost. And the thought of having, especially nowadays with the cost of living, the fact of having to spend £160 to replace the entire kit, even though I already owned <laughs> perfectly working accessories and a ch charging dock with my original Series 2, um, kind of took the wind out of my sails. But the fact that I was able to get just the controller and by the way i did try to go through xbox support um when my elite 2 controller died the best that they could offer for my out of warranty elite original elite 2 was to basically say you can spend 150 pounds and we will send you a refurbished controller without accessories 
with a three month warranty and that's it now their support guy actually turned around and said to me don't do this because in a couple of months they're actually releasing a new version of the elite 2 controller he didn't say what the name was but after i saw leaked images of it i knew he was talking about this what i did not know it was that it was going to be the core system which is just a controller by itself which meant i'm literally hot switching out my old controller for this one and i am gaming but now i can make use of my venom gaming accessories kit and now i've got bright shiny blue paddles to go with the white controller which is going to look amazing now the only other thing to consider with the, the elite 2 core is when you might be buying it right now all you can buy is this the controller and the accessories pack separately they did announce when they've officially revealed this they did confirm that come holidays 2022 the elite 2 core controller will be going into the design lab which is where you can make your own custom controller and you can actually set the color of the main body to what you want um, so depending on if you want to do that no idea how much that's going to cost um, to change the color of it but i have to admit i really like the white i think it absolutely pops with the black grip um the silver original accessories that come in the elite 2 still work but like i said for 24.99 you can get the venom accessories kit which just shows different color for the same kit it will save you 30 pounds if you are happy to just charge your elite 2 core controller your usb c braided charging cable which is the same as you get with the elite 2 mine's currently connected to my console because as soon as i finish this that goes back in its box it will get replaced with this and then i set it up on my console and i am i am hoping what i need to know is i need to know if i connect this to my controller will it all will it detect it as a new elite 2 and i have to reset my profiles or will it just copy the profiles from my original elite 2 over that i will put in the comments once i find out but yes so there we have a very bog standard first time opening of the elite series 2 core controller showing you the differences between the original the fact that once again for your for 114 pounds 99 all you get is the controller thumbsticks a d-pad USB-C charging cable and the thumbstick tightener for your money if you want all the paddle systems and the charging case of the original Willy 2 controller you will need to purchase the 54 pounds 99 accessories pack which is still available now um, that goes with it or the venom gaming accessories in blue purple or gold and save yourselves 30 pounds and just plugged in the controller to charge what more can i say um i reviewed my elite series 2 controller um i'll put a link in the description of the video um back when i first got it to show all you know all the benefits it gives me from an accessibility point of view performance wise the elite series 2 really is the best controller uh you can buy right now if you're xbox i know scuff have a version but this is the one that i love to use so much so that even playstation are finally doing their own version of a controller with a paddle system in the forms of the dual sense edge which is due to be released next year which is something i also hope to get because again anything that i can take thumbstick um functionality and put it on a paddle system it's going to be spot on for me so there you go do you need to call controller everything that you get in the box everything that you don't get in the box and an alternative to spending 54.99 i do love this controller thank you very much for watching i hope these videos just helped again apologies for the kind of ropey setup um until whilst my flat is still being worked on um so until next time thank you very much for watching as i always say in my twitch channel www.twitch.tv forward slash the cottage armor be safe be lucky be kind take care and i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching bye bye